Uh, magandang umaga po na sa lahat natin sa ating mga kapatid, uh, lalong-lalong mga sumusubaybay worldwide. Uh, maraming salamat sa iyong presensya, sa inyong mga uh, pagtangkilik sa All for Jesus Church. Amen. Uh, you're all welcome. Uh, at uh, pinapasalamatan ko ating Panginoon pagkat uh, di na kumuli tayo sa araw nito sa uh, fellowship natin sa All for Jesus Church na alam ko ang lahat ng lahat-lahat na makikinig ay pagpapalain kayo ng ating Panginoon. Amen. Amen. Kasi yan po ang topic natin ngayon. Ang blessings from the Lord. Amen. Amen. Sa so, oras na ito mga kapatid, tayo manalangin. Amang balaw sa pangalan na Yesus, kayo po yung lumalapit Lord sa oras na ito. Nagpapasalamat kami muli sa araw na binigay mo sa amin. Thank you for this day Lord that you have made. At pangunahan mo, Panginoon, ang aming mensahe sa araw na ito. Na ikaw ang manguna, ikaw, Lord, ang magturo sa mga sa amin, ang iyong banal na Espiritu Santo. Puspusin mo na wala, ha, Panginoon, ang makikinig. At sumusubaybay sa All for Jesus Church. Nabigyan mo sila ng kasaganaan ng buhay. Pagkat ipreinabis mo ito, Panginoon, sa iyong salita. Nagsino ba ang, ang nasa iyo, Panginoon? ang iyong tumiti mo sa mga, ang mga salita mo sa aming mga puso't isipan ito'y pagpapalain mo kami lahat Panginoon at bibigyan mo ng buhay at ang kasaganaan ng buhay salamat po Lord sa uh, araw muli na ito at nagpapasalamat din kayo Panginoon sa araw sa kung isang linggo mong pat, pat, patnubay sa amin patawarin mo loho, lahat po Panginoon ang aming makasalanan ito'y sinasadya mo nang di sinasadya Patawarin mo po kami. Kung nakapagsalita kami, Panginoon, na hindi maganda sa aming kapwa, tao, patawarin mo po kami, Panginoon. Mamuli, Lord, nagpapasalamat kami ng marami sa iyo, sa iyong mga blessings, sa iyong mga gabay, patnubay sa amin, na ibinigay mo ng Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, at sa iyo lang, Lord, matas na kapuryan, kalmaratingan sa tayong pangalan na Yesus. Amen. Amen. Mga kapatid, ah, uh, Buksan po natin ang Bible natin sa matatagpuan ng text natin na sa araw ito sa 1 King chapter 17 verse 1 to 6. At ito ay patungkol po sa blessings ng Lord. Amen? Amen. Ito po ay istorya ni Elijah. Si Elijah po ay <coughs> isa pong uh, one of the greatest prophets of God. On those times, ang propeta po ay siya ang nakikipag-usap sa Diyos. Amen? Amen? At ang Diyos ay nakikipag-usap sa propeta para yung propeta na ito, yung true prophets of God, only that the false prophets, Amen? Only the true prophets will tell to the king, to the leader of the world, of the, uh, of the kingdom, Amen. to spread the word of God. Amen? Amen? Yan po ang trabaho ng prophet, yung true, true, true prophets po. Ang pinag-usapan po natin dito, hindi po yung false prophets. Amen? Amen. Kasi noong araw, napakaray pong false prophets. Hanggang ngayon po. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Si Elijah ay isa sa most famous prophets from God. Amen? Amen. And he is the number one enemy ng prophets ni Baal. Amen? Amen. He's the number one enemy of the priest and prophets of Baal. Because Baal is an idol. Amen? Amen? But Elijah is serving our living God. Amen? Ngayon, matatagpang po natin ang, ang leksyon natin sa ila 1 King chapter 17 verse 1 to 6. Sabi nito, Now Elijah the peace fight from Tesbi in Gilead said to Ahab as the Lord the God of Israel live so whom I serve there will be neither dew or rain in the next few years except my word then the word of the Lord came to Elijah in verse 3 live here turn eastward 
on high in Kerit Ravine, east of Jordan. In verse 4, you will drink from the brook, and I have ordered the ravens to feed you there. So, he did what the Lord had told, as I had told him. He went to Kerit Ravine, east of Jordan, and he stayed there. The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the brook. Mga kapatid, sa nabasa po natin na ito, ito po ay kagimbal-gimbal. Kung intindihin po natin ang salita ng Diyos, ito po ay kagimbal-gimbal. Amen. In Matthew 44, bago tayo mag-umpisa dyan, mga kapatid, ang sabi ng ating Panginoon sa Matthew 44, Man cannot live in bread alone, Amen. but every word that comes out from the mouth of God. And in Matthew 20, uh, 23, verse 35, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Amen? So first one, the first king, Elijah is uh, considered one of the greatest prophets and his name alone, yung pangalan lang po na Elijah, that means, the Lord is my God. Yan po ang meaning niya. Or, God is Jehovah. Elijah went to Ahab. You see, Ahab is the king of Israel before. You can see the related story of Ahab in 1 King chapter 16, verse 29 to 34. He's a wicked king of Israel. Amen? One of the wicked king of Israel. Umaasa sila kay Baal. Yan po ang, ang, ang kanilang Diyos. He told to Ahab that there will be no rain or even dew. At uh, yung dew, yung habog. Sabi ni, sabi ni Elijah kay Ahab, walang ulan na darating. Oo, oh, ni isang habog. Amen? Amen. Ibig sabihin, tuyot, tuyot, tuyot na tuyot. Amen? Tuyot na tuyot. In the next few years, hindi po pinag-usapan ito ang araw, linggo, no. Few years, taon po pinag-usapan dito na sinabi ni Elijah kay Ahab na walang ulan. Sa lugar na yun, except my word. Sabi ni Elijah, except my word. Sabi dito, sa verse, uh, sa verse 1, As the Lord of God, the God of Israel, lives, whom I serve, there will be neither dew or rain in the next few years, except my word. Except my word, sabi ni Elijah. Ang sabi dito, except my word, Brothers and sisters, we will notice here when Elijah said, Accept my word. Kung hindi ko sasabihin na hindi ulan, hindi ulan. Sabi ni Elijah kay Ahab. Amen? Amen. Ibig sabihin, because God has given the authority to Elijah. God has given authority to Elijah that he will command the, the rain and dew to, to, to come to the trail. God has given the power and authority to Elijah. And he was guided by the word of God, which cannot fail, never. Amen? Amen. The word of God, kaibigan, cannot fail. Amen. It will never, ever fail. Amen? Yan po ang word of God. Mabigat po ang word of God. <laughs> Mabigat po. During the time, of King Ahab, these people worship their own God, which is Baal. It's a kind of idol. And their idolatrous priests, yung mga paring idolat, idolatry, kasi idolatry sila, kasi pina, ang sinasamba nila si Baal. The king claimed that Baal, dominion over nature, over nature, the dominion of Baal over nature, and absolute control over the clouds and rain. Sabi na mga propeta ni Baal, ah, kaya-kaya na kaling Diyos yan. 
pauulan niya bibigyan kami ng ulan bibigyan kami ng ng uh, pangapagkain pero diyan sila nagkabali kaya ng Diyos namin yan sabi nila but Elijah would present the fact that it was God the maker of heaven and earth who ordered the elements or components not Baal Amen. Amen. Elijah told King Ahab that only God is able <clears throat> only God is able their God Baal is unable to produce any even a single dew di isang angob na papatak sa lupa wala yan sabi ni Ahab kay, uh, sabi ni Elijah kay Ahab in verse 3 sabi ng Diyos kay kasi hindi sila naniniwala kay Elijah the prophet sabi ng Diyos sa verse 3 then sa verse 2 I'm sorry then the word of God came to Elijah sa verse 3 sabi ng Diyos kay Elijah live here umalis ka rito sabi ng Diyos Amen Umalis ka rito Live here That's what That's what the Lord said to Elijah Umalis ka rito Pero si Elijah Taga Israel po yan Amen Alalahanin po natin Si Elijah Taga Israel yan God Withdrew His prophet Even though Elijah Was in Israel We need to draw Jesus We need to draw uh, God the Father Si Elijah Away from the Israel Amen. The absence of the prophet. The absence of the prophet kasi yun ang nagkagalingan ng word of God, the, the prophet. Confirm it will it will likely persist and intensify the judgment because Israel at the time was notoriously wicked. They are wicked. Amen. Pagka wala pa lang word of God sa iyo kapatid. Amen it will intensify the judgment on you. Amen? It will intensify the judgment on you kung wala ang word of God sa'yo. Kapatid, the time, true prophets are very important to the king. True prophets, yung mga totoong propeta ng Diyos, are very important to the king. Amen. Kasi doon nanggagaling ang word of God through the prophets. Amen? And God is communicating to the prophets while the prophets is communicating to God. Amen? Through His words. Before, no prophets, no word from the Lord. Amen? Pagkat sinabi sa John 1.1 At this time, at this time, today, sa ngayon, no words from the Lord. Ano mangyayari? No blessings from the Lord. Amen. Because in John 1, 1, in the beginning, the Word was God, was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. Amen. At sabi sa John 6, 63, the Spirit gives light, the flesh counts nothing, kapatid. Amen. The words that I have spoken to you, nandito sa Bible, kapatid, the words that I have spoken to you, they are spirit and they are life. Hallelujah. Buhay! Ang salita ng Diyos ay buhay natin, kapatid. Amen? Sabi sa Diyan, sa, sa Matthew 4, 4, Man cannot live in bread alone. <laughs> but every word that comes out from the mouth of God. Amen? Amen. At that time, Prophets are very important to the king and to the people. Sa verse 4, sabi ng, sabi ng ating painter, You will drink from the brook. Ano yung brook? Parang sapa. Sapa talaga. Amen? You will drink from the brook. And I have ordered the ravens to feed you there. Sapa, kapatid. The Lord has a total control of the elements meaning especially the essential like the water in the brook alam lang Diyos sa pagkakailangan mo kapatid he had the total control of all 
the things he created in on the earth. Amen. Like the essential, essential uh, thing, like the water. You need water. Everybody needs water to drink. Amen. Kung tayo iinom sa sapa, hindi natin alam kung saan nanggali yung tubig na yan. Hindi ka sigurado malinis. Anong gagawin mo? If you're not really sure that the water is clean, because you don't know where the water came from. Umaagos. Amen. Brook. Sapa, umaagos. Hindi mo alam kung saan nanggali yung tubig. Amen. Baharin magbigay ka, lagyan mo ng medicine yung iinumin mo bago minumin. Lagyan mo ng medicine. Amen. But God made this brook portable to Elijah. Amen. God made this brook portable to Elijah. It is pure. It is very, very pure. Purong, purong tubig. Fresh na fresh na tubig. It is much purer than the water that you're drinking right now, kapatid. Yung mga purified water. Amen. Now, mas, mas, uh, mas malinis ng tubig na binigay ng Diyos kay Elijah. Brook, tuloy-tuloy ang agos. Amen? Alin, verse 4, ikukontinue natin. Sabi doon, I have ordered, I have ordered the ravens to feed you there. Ang, ang, ang Diyos ha? Raven Ano ba ang Raven? Sa tingin mo kapatid, anong Raven? Ibon, okay? Amen. Pero itong Ravens na ito, mga Raven They are uh, the family of crow Marumi po sila Amen Itim Itim ang mga kulay At saka maingay Pero talagang uh, pangit na ibon ito Amen Inutusan ko itong ibon na yun, itong mga ibon na ito, sabi ng Diyos kay Elijah. Ravens! It's a dirty bird! And it has all a black plumage. Its wings, its feathers are all black. And it's heavily built. Malakas itong ibon na ito. Amen. Amen! And these birds, they mainly feed on carrions. Ano yung mga carrions? mga dead animals mga decaying flesh of animals they are scavengers ibig sabihin scavengers sila pero bakit na itong napili ng Diyos Amen? bakit na ravens ang napili ng Diyos dyan mo makikita kapatid ng Diyos makapangyarihan sa lahat Diyan mo makikita kapatid na ang Diyos ang magagawa niya lahat. Amen? Yes. <laughs> eh yung raven, maka, makakuha ng meat yan, kakainin niya kagad. Amen? Mm -hmm. Pero ito, itong bagayang meat na ito sa kabre, hindi sa para sa kanila. Para kay Elijah. Amen? Amen. Para sa anak ng Diyos lamang. <laughs> Amen? Yan po magtrabaho ng ating Panginoon sa ating mga buwan para sa mga anak lamang niya Amen and in verse 5 God chooses these birds to deliver foods to Elijah meat and bread bread in the morning bread and meat in the morning and meat in the evening and bread in the evening Delivered to Elijah every day. Wala pong piyesta opisyal, wala pong linggo, sabado. Every day. Amen? And eventually, itong kinakain ni Elijah na bit na to, eventually is ready to eat. <laughs> Hindi mo na kailang magluto. No. Eventually, is ready to eat. Amen? Amen? Remember, ravens, eat me too. You eat me too. <laughs> But they cannot eat the meat intended to Elijah. <laughs> Amen. And it's Elijah's blessing. Remember, it's Elijah's blessing. Not for the birds. 
It's United's blessing that for the birds. Amen? May mga tao. Nagkatrabaho. Okay? Trabaho ng trabaho. Pero, yung effort nila napupunta sa mga anak ng Diyos. Amen? Amen? May kasabihan niya kapatid. Ikaw nagsahin, ibang kumain. Amen? Ganyan po. Ganyan po mag-bless ang ating Panginoon. The bottom line is, God has the total control over all creations. He has control over everything. When we tap, tap into His resources, tatapikin mo yung resources ng ating Panginoon. We are tapping into unlimited supply. Amen. Amen. You are tapping to unlimited supply. Para yan dating niya, kapatid. Sa'yo. Amen. And Elijah, sa istorya na ito, live by this brook for more than two years. Isipin mo yan, magit dalawang taon na sinuplayan si Elijah ng, sinuplayan ng raven si Elijah ng 